Hey man, what's good YouTube? So, Season 6 just dropped And I, f I feel like the only reason to start Season 6 off is to help y'all out on your guard So I'm gonna be dropping a bunch of tips and tricks in this video Like, triple combos, best 6, best jump shot, how to remove delay, how to combo up Like, I got y'all bro I, I promise you, if you were guarding and you struggling, this video is gonna It's just gonna help you out a lot Like, this is just gonna improve your gameplay and everything Alright man, so the first step in this video is gonna be my six. So basically I'll be using Michael Jordan dribble style. It's the best one. Signature size up is Steve Francis. You can also use D Rose, but Steve Francis is better in my opinion because of the speed boost. But actually if you come to stance to dribbling, I would actually use D Rose, I ain't gonna lie. Size up escape packs, you can use Trey Young. You can also use KD. KD is tough. KD is real tough. Um moving crossover is Russell Westbrook. You see, like, y'all, may maybe a lot of y'all don't know this, but the, mo the moving crossover is actually the snatchback move. So, you if you have a slow snatchback, you might want to change up this to save. I just personally think Westbrook is the one that looks the cleanest. Moving behind the back, Damian Lillard is the best one in the game right now. Moving spins is basic, so you can do the Steezo spin back, you know. Y'all know what I'm talking about. The moving hesitation is normal. Moving step back is normal, so you can get the S to slide. Triple threat styles, Kobe Bryant, it don't really matter, no pass, it, it don't matter, it don't matter. Um, I'll be showing my dunk packages too, because I know a bunch of y'all want that. I got LeBron James on, I got Michael Jordan on. Let me see, I got quick drops off one, I got side clutches off one, I got straight arm tomahawks, I got cutback tomahawks, I got leaning slams, that's about it. So I got dribble pull up Trey Young, the best one. I got Ellen Ivers and Spin Jumper. And then I got Kyle Lowry Hub Jumper. If you're like, these, these are the best ones, I ain't gonna lie. You gotta have these as a guard, I ain't gonna lie. Like, you're not gonna find anything better than these. Alright, man, so the jump shot. I'm gonna show my jump shot in a second. First, I'm gonna just get into the best bases in the game if you're a small guard. Uh, Curry, Steph Curry. Then we got John Stockton. That's my favorite, if you ask me. And then we got Kevin Porter Jr. That's the top three bases right now. I heard Jerry West is tough. I have not gotten to try it myself, but I heard Jerry West is tough. So if you want to experiment with it, go ahead and do that. I'm going to be testing it out soon, but I haven't been able to test it out yet. So that's why I'm going to just say these three. The one I'll be using. Let me see. Yeah, this this one I'll be using. John Stockton, Oscar Robertson, Oscar Robertson. 4 for 4 speed, 0 to 100. The blending don't matter because it's the same other releases, but this jump shot has just is not it's not disappointing me. I've been using I've been trying to switch uh, see if I can find something better, but it's like every time I think I found a better jump shot, the moment I go back to this jump shot, I just realize this is better. I have not yet to found a jump shot that I like more than this jump shot. So if you wanna wanna use my jump shot, that's the jump shot you wanna be using. And we're gonna come into the badges, and I know I do got a lot of playmaking compared to a lot of other people, but that's because. If you watched my previous video on how to make my build, you will see how I get this many playmaking badges. Um, but y'all just gonna have to, y'all y'all just gonna see my. I'm gonna just show my badges. You feel me? I'm gonna, I'm gonna tell the most important ones. Um, for finishing, just don't like. Just make sure you got limitless range on. I ain't gonna lie. <laughs> just make sure you got that on. <laughs> uh, posterize, fearless finisher, giant slayer, slithery. That they all like. Just copy my shit. On um, shooting, make sure you got agent three on, so you can do them fades. Green Machine, make sure we got Volume Shooter. I mean, I've, I don't really know if Guard Up works. I think it do work a little bit. That's why I just keep it on Silver. I don't know. I might just take it off. I'm not sure. And I've been dribbling a lot, so I would rather... I want this on Hall of Fame, but I ain't got the badges for it. But Gold Amp. Blinders, you need this. This is important. You need Deadeye, and you need Limitless Range. Like, these are, these are important. And go over to the Playmaking. I get Hall of Fame Clamp Breaker, so you know I had to slap that on. I get handle for days gold. We get quick first step Hall of Fame. Very important. These three is very important. Just make as as much as you can get these on. Put it on. Uh, needle threader for passes. Bailout so I can bail out if I see the center help or something. Then we got hyperdrive on Hall of Fame. This is important too. This is what really this helps like smoothing up your combos. It helps. I don't know. I feel like when I put this on, it's, I got less delay. Killer combos, like. This hyperdrive and killer combos together is just good for delay, I promise you. Unpluggable, we get you gotta get this in a Hall of Fame. Like you get rid way too much in this game. 
all right so i think we got some of that covered let me let me show you all something real quick because a lot of you guys have been asking me um how i get two extra balls of gatorade right and the thing you can buy this on your phone but i gotta show you something down here so i just went down here if you go in here to buy the gatorade just make sure you buy this one this is the gatorade that gives you an extra ball but to get the extra ball you also need gym rat and the way you get gym rat i think is is it if you i think you win an nba championship you get gym rat if you win the nba championship or if you complete all this guy's challenges i think it's like he gonna keep giving you some workout challenges and at the end you gotta do 50 challenges which is long because you can only do seven a week but if you go over to this one right here you can actually keep spamming them like this this challenge it don't get a cooldown you can spam this up to 50 times so just find a gatorade with nobody else there at and then just start spamming it and then for boost make sure you buy a jump shot boost that's only all you really need on guard so gatorade super shake plus jump shot boost that's what you need you'll be good so a lot of people in my comments ask how i dribble with the delay this year um because the delay is bad this year and what i'm gonna say is the most important thing you can do is definitely to get an internet cable because the internet cable it just helps get you a smoother connection less input delay it's just gonna be better if you connect it to wi-fi you're gonna struggle a lot with the dribbling and shooting in general like getting a LAN cable is just gonna make a way more stable connection for you and it's gonna help you out a lot on the court trust me let's say you you, you be in my court you can dribble fine right the moment you go into stage or park or whatever you play program that's where you start struggling because of the delay a way to get used to this is the moment let's say you're leading in a game and you know you got time to troll just start lapping up in game you know how you lap up in my court do the same thing in game just start getting used to the delay uh the next tip i got to you about latency and delay and internet connection all that how to reduce lag spikes a lot of people in my stream been asking me why i keep going out to the home button like this every time after a possession because this resets the, I think it, it resets something in the internet, I can't lie, I don't know what it resets, I just know that when you go out to the home button and back in, it refreshes the whole thing. It's just gonna reduce lag spikes, and reduce delay, a lot of different stuff. I've been doing this shit since 21, because I remember people started doing it there. Alright, so the last stop on how to reduce delay is to use a charger in your controller, like a PlayStation charger connected to your PlayStation it's just it makes it gives you less input delay like your playstation reads what you do on the controller way fast when you got it plugged in also helps with timing your jump shot so make sure you got your controller plugged in all right so now i'm gonna get into my settings because a bunch of y'all been asking about my settings too so i'm gonna show that coming in here i'm gonna go to controller settings uh vibration make sure you keep this off you do not want vibration on trust me shut me to keep this off so turn release time i got mine on very early earlier uh, very early is what i've been using because i just like it fast it, it makes makes me feel like I'm peak fast and show me the type i use the comet that's just the one i like the most but yeah, i know y'all i showed y'all no shot meter you still get shot me on your dunks so that's why i use comet uh pro stick function put it on default pro stick orientation put it on absolute off ball offensive mode absolute who to guard put it on you, you want to be able to see your arrows, I ain't gonna lie. Defensive assist with intense D. This is mostly for lockdowns, but if you were locked down, you're watching this, put it on zero. It's just nice to have the full control over your defender. Alright, so I'm gonna talk about. I know this sounds weird, but I'm gonna talk about confidence. Trust me. I know confidence, like people is like, oh, you need confidence in real basketball. You need it in 2K as well. I promise you. If you hop on the court, scared to shoot, scared to dribble, scared to get plucked, scared against who you're playing against, scared to go to stage, you'll be playing nervous. Do not play nervous. Play confident. Hop on the court like you're the best guard in there. Hop on the court knowing you're going to drop clips on this luck. Like, that's what I, like, I can't lie. Sometimes I still catch myself struggling a little bit with it. But just hop on there and have your confidence. Trust me, the moment, if you have confidence, you're just going to play way better, bro. Hey, y'all, so I'm going to show some good scenarios in game. I'm going to show, like, what you got to do on the court as a PG on defense, on offense. Just some good moves, some good tips, how to read the luck and shit. I got my clip ball ornaments with me right now. Uh, shut up. <laughs> Alright, so the first thing I'm going to be showing y'all is when you come to the corner, Know, let's say you run it down here to the corner right the lockdown will always expect you 
so we're going to the left because when you're down here there's nothing you really can do right so the moment you run to the left he's going to predict you and he's going to most likely blitz you Artemis come show real quick let's say let's say i'm running over here he's going to expect my comeback boom i'm gonna run straight into him he didn't get it right there but he's just they're gonna be there they're gonna know that shit, right so let's say you run down to the corner you face people come back shoot make it a little bit more realistic let's say you run down to the corner gonna fake coming back shoot you see what i'm saying you can also do it like this let's say you come down to the corner go like this shoot because they're gonna expect you to come down to the other side the whole time go down boom boom shoot So the next move I'm going to show y'all is this crab right here that I be using a lot like let's say I'm comboing up or whatever come up the court like right here start going like this you see it Oh my fault That was so Alright so the next move I'm going to show is it's not a move it's a scenario when you combo him up and the defender is all up in your face, hit him with a quick speed boost and hit him with the chat mark. Let me show y'all why this why this works good. Cause you're dribbling up and he's he's all up in your face, right? And he's he's thinking he's he's boxing your shit. So when you speed boost to the right, you you show him you want to rim run and you do this, cause he's gonna fully his mindset is fully gonna be on the rim run. So that means the moment you come in here, he already gonna be biting on it and you just shoot that bit. Alright, so the next one I'm gonna show you is this one right here. Wait, kind of did it wrong. I'm gonna do it again. Like that's so tough. I showed this last one, but the only use this if you're a weirdo though, because this is only a move that weirdos do. Like this is so fucking OP and it's so cheesy and it's so unguardable. So what you do, right? You go into the paint, you do an as the slide, and you run out. Because you're gonna jump every single time. And the thing about this is if the center helps, he's gonna jump too. If the center helps and someone picks up on you when you get out to the three-point line, you can just dot it. I can't dot it because no one's here. Just dot the corner. Is you can get a bug with this shit every time. Like this is so cheesy and I hate this move so much, bro. In my life, I lucked multiple times and he starts to catch up to it, so he's not jumping no more. You're just gonna hit him with this. You go in, Asta, and you dunk it. Simple. Cause he's not gonna jump. He's gonna he's gonna stand there like, oh, I know what you're doing now. You just hit him with the dunk instead. Like, it's so fucking broken. I hate this move. Please take it out the game. The motherfucking walk back. Go into the paint. Starts moonwalking. Go into the paint. Starts moonwalking. Goes into the paint. Starts moonwalking. Like, oh my days. How is this fun to you? I hate this move. I hope they take it out soon. It, it's good moves, though. Because, you know, it gets you open. But it's so cheesy. And it's just... Ugh. I don't fuck with this shit. So, if you want to play weird, there's these two moves for you. So I promise y'all I would teach y'all how to combo up. So I got y'all with a little something. Alright man, so the first combo I got for y'all, right? You wanna do the Steve what's it called? Steve Francis? You know this one right here? All you do is basically look at the controller cam. You flick your right stick diagonal up to the opposite ball handle. Do y'all see that? And then you need the Trey Young crap, which is the same, but the way you do this is you hold turbo while doing it. And then you need some momentum. You know, this one. And the way you do this is you hold turbo right here. And you flick your right stick up like this. And you hold turbo, flick the right stick up, and then flick 
the left stick to the opposite ball handle diagonal up. So this way, right? Hold on, let me show you again. See that, like that. Where you do this, you flick the right stick to do the Steve Francis, you do the tray on, you do the Steve Francis, you do the momentum. Steve Francis, Trey Young, Steve Francis, Momentum. Steve Francis, Trey Young, Steve Francis, Momentum. Steve Francis, Trey Young, Steve Francis, Momentum. And then you just put it together like. The way you do this is ball is in your left hand, right? You do this, Steve Francis, you do the momentum. Steve Francis, momentum. Steve Francis, momentum. Steve Francis, momentum. And when you spam it like hard, it's gonna look like this. Steve Francis, momentum. Steve Francis, momentum. In case y'all forgot how to do it, Steve Francis, basically what you do is you flick your right stick to the opposite ball handle diagonal up, get the Steve Francis, momentum. You hold turbo, you flick your right stick up, and you follow with the left stick to the diagonal up to the opposite ball handle. Someone in the comments is gonna be like, okay, you taught us this, but how am I gonna combo up like you? Like this is not enough. So I'ma show y'all that too. Since y'all want it, I'm a, you know, like you wanna add these in, you wanna add these in, you wanna add hessy steps, you wanna add between the legs, you wanna add snap snatchbacks. So basically, it's how you add this one into the combo I just showed y'all. So it's gonna look like this. You know what I'm saying? Basically, all you do is you do the Steve Francis. Trey Young, Steve Francis, momentum behind the back. If you don't know how to do behind the back, I can't sit here and explain every single move in here because I have a whole dribble tutorial out with it. Go watch my other dribble tutorial if you want to learn how to do the move. But basically, you just want to put that one in after the momentum and that in the combo. Alright, so let me show it one more time. You do the Steve Francis, the Trey Young, Steve Francis, momentum behind the back. Basically how you combo up is you do the one I just told you, you know, remember that one, the first one I taught, I thought the second one I taught, I don't remember. You do this and you just learn how to put moves into this. So let's say misdirection, right? Misdirection from the front. Double misdirection. Misdirection from the front, misdirection from the back, misdirection from the back, misdirection from the front. That's how you add the misdirections in, right? Between the legs. And then snatch backs, behind the backs, mm, social slides. Let me think what else, like this one, the double crap. Uh, the spin combo that I taught in my first video. I don't know, like, start momentum spamming, like, do whatever you want, like, just. So I'm gonna do this for the people that really want to learn it. I'm gonna combo up for a good, good minute, right? And I'm gonna slow the video down to like 1% speed. And then the controller is gonna be slowed down too. And you can just study the controller.
final move I got for y'all is this. It's a speed boost. Do y'all see that right there? You know how I don't think y'all understand how OP this move is. The separation it creates from the defender. This is an AI and you can barely keep up with it. Basically what you do is I know you see that. I I might have to slow it down. I don't think I don't know if y'all be able to see it. And the way you do this move is when you're running up, y'all see the stick? What I do is I run up the court, hold my left stick to the side that I'm running up, then I turn it quick into the, to the other side and then quick back. It's, it's giving it some quick in and out. I don't know how to explain it. It's direction for one second and then it, it speed boosts over to the other side. Like. Just, it's just a quick in and out with the stick so you made it to the end of my guard academy and i really hope this video helped you to be the guard that you want to be because i tried to put in every single tip and trick i knew every like i tried to teach y'all combos you, you saw the video you know what i did um basically i appreciate you for staying to the end if you stay to the end comment so so for me so i can see who's a loyal supporter and um if you're new to the channel, make sure you subscribe. If you're not new to the channel, but you're not subscribed, you better subscribe because I know your ass came back from my video. Um, drop a like for me, drop a comment for me, share this to a guard who needs help, and um, make sure you follow all my socials. You see them in the left corner. My TikTok, almost at 20k. My Discord server, come talk to me. I always send voice channels. Every day I'm in a voice channel. Come chat with me. Uh, subscribe to the YouTube. I already said that. Uh, and then we got my Twitch. I stream daily on my Twitch. So. If you want to come and talk to me, pull up to my twist too. Uh, I love you for making it to the end. Uh, I'm out.